Hey everybody, Scott Knife here. Um, I have my cool steel tie light, which is right here. And I'm going to do a quick comparison with this knife right here. It's a German automatic switchblade. There you go. Really fast knife. First, I'll start off with a uh, switchblade. How's it going, everybody? Um, basically, it's made in Germany. I do not know. It has really funny German writing on it. Um, if you can, I have a description. I'd like you to message me back if you know about it. It has a solid lockup, no side to side or up and down movement. It has a safety right there. There's a switch itself. I need a value. I want to know. I want to see if you can appraise it for me. Look at that. Quick, solid, wicked fast performance. And Cold Steel said they um, use. Let's see here. Cold Steel said they use the switch play design. Let's compare here. You see any similarities? I do. I can honestly say I can probably deploy this um, this tie light just as quick as this right here. The switchblade. Switchblade has a cool factor of like a thousand on it. I love it so much. Um, let me take my glasses off so I can take a look at this real quick. You got the handle, which is genuine stag. Okay. You have the spine, which looks great. And you got the button, which is right here. And see if I lose a finger. A little bit of it. Look at that. Straight knife. It has been used. Um, my stepdad gave it to me. He picked it up when he was on a trip to Germany with his father when he was deployed in Germany. Um, overall, it's a great knife. Um, I'm just curious. Does anyone know who C. Jill Herbert's Rostfire or something? I have no idea. But if you can help me out with this, I'd greatly appreciate it. There again, it's an awesome knife. Quick, illegal, don't get caught with one. Um, it has, features this locking mechanism, this release, which right there, then you shut it. But it's quick. I mean, here's the head on view of it. Like that. If I could point it at the camera correctly. Try again. There we go. Um, I'm trying to improve my lighting, that's why I changed my ass for a little while. Here's the cold steel. Look at that. I got the 4 inch tie light. Great all around knife. Very sharp. I uh, love it. Um, here you go. Here's a little cut there. Oh, there you go. Um, if you can, post a comment or maybe a web response on the German Swiss because I have no idea what it is. Or who makes it. I don't know what Herbitz is. I'm pretty sure it might be a good knife brand. But it does not feel cheap. It feels well made, well maintained, ridiculously sharp, ridiculously fast. And let's do a little quick switchblade fling test. What I do, I take a few tips, I fold it like that, and I put it right here on the back of the knife. I scoot back a little bit. I put it right there on the back of the knife. And it depends on how far the Q tip goes and how fast switchblade is. There you go. Well, yeah, that's on the other side of my ring now. But if you have a chance, please comment. Um, I will go a little bit more in depth with another video possibly on this knife. It's a great knife, stag handle. You really do. Please help me find out who makes this and how much it's worth. I'm curious. Really curious. Thank you so much. And I guess I'll be back with you at another time. Here's one more deployment. And it's a big thing to play with this knife. I can't just do it once. It's retarded. You can't do it once. So, I appreciate it. Thank you for your views. And I guess I'll talk to you in another video. Just post one up in response. Thank you.